Whenever I tell anybody that I'm a race car driver, they always think I'm kidding or it's a joke. Like I've literally had people just start laughing. I'm like, no, like <laughs> I'm not trying to make a joke. <laughs> I don't really try to break any barriers or stereotypes. I just try to be myself and do my thing. And it's cool if I am doing that. Um, it's amazing when people reach out saying that I do inspire them because that's not my intention, but if I do, then that's really amazing. I started racing when I was nine years old in go-karts. Um, and basically me and my sister just went to the go-kart track for fun one day. It was just kind of an idea that my dad thought of and we both just fell in love with it as soon as we got in the go-kart and we begged him to get our own go-kart and it just became like an activity that we would do. And I did go-karts for like, for maybe like 12 years and then I moved up into race cars. I try to be like as calculated as possible when I'm driving. If I'm behind somebody, I'm always trying to plan the next move. Like, okay, where are their weaknesses? Where am I catching them? Where can I pass them? Also, like as soon as I'm in the race car, just kind of flip a switch in my head. I feel like I'm a very kind of calm and chill person in real life. And then once I get in a race car, you have to just change it into being aggressive and just like reacting super fast. So I feel like as soon as I'm in there and the engine's on, I'm just like a whole new person. In racing, there's a few different levels in NASCAR. Right now I'm in the ARCA series, um, and the top level is the NASCAR Cup series. It's kind of like the Formula One of NASCAR. It's the top level, um, so it's definitely the goal for me. When I was younger, I used to make little fake YouTube makeup tutorial videos, and I used to watch Pitta's tutorials also and use her makeup. So this was such a dream come true to have her on my car. You don't typically see that on any NASCAR race cars. I don't know if there has been one on a car before. Um, so it was exciting. I love kind of doing things that are out of the norm and different. So that was right up my alley. My mom was born in Beirut, Lebanon, and she ended up leaving when the war broke out. Um, but we still have family out there, and um, I really want to visit them. Um, and for sure, I feel really connected to that side of me. My mom is, um, she's very, she's really taught us about the culture growing up. Now that I'm not living at home, I can't like get any Lebanese food out where I am. So it's sad, but she makes the best Lebanese food. Racing is a hard um, dream to kind of chase. You don't really know if it's gonna work out and it's a long journey. I've been doing this for 12 years and um, there's still times where I'm like, I don't know if this is gonna work out for me, um, but I'm too stubborn to stop. One of the hardest things is to get support from other people and to get funding, you know, racing is um, a pay to play sport. It's not like you can just kind of show up and go do what you need funding for. And I feel like sometimes as a female, it's a little bit harder to gain that respect and to have people believe in you and want to invest and help you kind of get through the ranks. I don't see myself as any differently when I'm at the track. You know, I think we're all drivers, we're all there to go racing, um, but I have been treated differently. And I feel like at least every race weekend, I get some type of comment or treated differently, but it's kind of just something that I brush off just cause you know, I know what I'm there to do. And I know that I'm a driver just like anyone else. Mm -hmm.